Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. We're so close to 1,000 subs. Now, there's an NBA executive that says that Duncan Robinson has arguably the worst contract in the league. And the report also says, what is he bringing to the table? And that's my whole thing with this. It's like, you know, Duncan Robinson, D3 guy, you know, then he ends up going to Michigan and lands in the NBA. That's an anomaly. That is not supposed to happen. Of course, he proved himself. He was able to shoot his way, you know, out of the slums and make it to the NBA. But man, I think this is one of the worst drop offs in NBA history. So the report also says that with Robinson, though he has a big deal, a long deal and a bad deal, he has all three there. The Heat have signed him through 2026, and you just don't know what level he is going to be able to help you at from here on. He has been really bad as a shooter, and we know he can't defend. So what is he bringing to the table? And he's bringing absolutely nothing to the table. That's why during the summer when he was talking about he wants to be the best ping pong player in the NBA, I said, that's foolishness. Everybody was talking about, oh, yeah, but he's just talking to his buddies. Oh, he's just hanging out. No. I don't want to hear that you want to be the best ping pong player in the NBA. I want to hear that you want to be the best shooter in the NBA. That's what real dogs say. That's what real shooters say. Ray Allen, Seth Curry, Clay Thompson, all the best shooters in the NBA never said they wanted to be the best ping pong player in the NBA. He should be aiming to be the best shooter in the NBA. Why is he not talking about getting in the weight room? This guy is 6'8". How come he hasn't gained any size, any muscle mass? I just don't understand what's going on. Yes, he's shown slight improvements to his game, trying to attack the rim and trying to shoot these floaters, but that's not enough. This man is a terrible defender. He is such a one-dimensional player, it's not even funny, like to the point where he's not even playable. He And then on top of that, I don't know if it's the contract or whatever the case may be, but his shooting man, when he's in a slump, it's it's all psychological. You know, he gets so, he's just so stuck in his head compared to Max Struess. Max Struess will shoot that ball 30 times if it, if that's what it takes. But Duncan Robinson, if he's off, it's going to get to his head. He's not going to play defense. He can't shoot. You know, so if it's one thing, it's the other. We paid this man $90 million to sit on the bench and drink Gatorade, come in the game, foul a whole bunch of times, brick a whole bunch of times. He He's not even showing the slightest bit of even trying to overcome this. I think this is one of the biggest drop-offs in NBA history. Yes. Is that deal somewhat correct in terms of the market value of today? Yes. But in my opinion, for a guy that's very one-dimensional, for a guy that gets stuck in his head, for a guy that's not a consistent three-point shooting, what happens to the Miami Heat's three-point shooting? You know, I've like like sometimes I think we're the only team in the NBA that can't shoot threes on a consistent basis. Max Strews or Duncan Robinson, they'll have a few good games, and then the next 20 games they can't shoot to save their lives. You know, so it just sucks, man. Duncan Robinson showed so much promise but this is the thing i don't want to see any more undrafted players on this miami heat roster after this year it's okay to have one or two but i don't need more than half the roster to be undrafted players and expect jimmy butler and bam at and tyler hero to carry this team for 82 games and the playoffs it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous you know like i said i want to hear duncan robinson working on his game I want to hear about Duncan Robinson gaining muscle mass and in the gym, in the weight room. Why is he not in the weight room? I just don't understand this foolishness that is going on right now. You know, and it, all of Heat Nation is pissed at Duncan Robinson and the Heat organization with all these undrafted players and all this nonsense. And like I said, I like Duncan Robinson. I still think that he could be a good shooter. I just think that for a Miami Heat team that has no good perimeter defenders, we have guys that can't play defense. We have guys that lack size. That lack, um, you know, like we have no rim protection. We have no athletes on this team. We have very maybe three athletes on this team, you know, like out of a 15 man roster. And that's the problem. I think Duncan Robinson, he's more fit for a team that doesn't require him to play elite defense night in and night out on every single possession. If he's able to go to a team where he can more or less just focus on shooting and decent defense, then he's able to flourish. But let me know what you guys think about. This guy saying that Duncan Robinson has arguably one of the worst contracts in the NBA. And it's true because nobody's going to take Duncan Robinson. We not So now we know that he can't play defense and he can't shoot anymore. You know, so what are the, why would anyone want this contract for till 2026? But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to a thousand subscribers.